Welcome, welcome, boys. This video is for a boy, T Town Corp, who sent me a message on my uh, Auto Maxi Check video where we initialized the ABS module for the Dodge Challenger that I'm currently sitting in. And he's having some problems getting his initialized. So this is kind of a back and forth semi collaboration, but mostly me helping him figure out why he can't initialize his ABS. So, at first glance, I would assume maybe it has something to do with all those extra codes he has, other than the VIN mismatch. But, let's find out. So, I have the maxi check connected. We just fired up the car. So, let's go to ABS, uh, USA. Now, the first thing I've noticed is his video, these looked different than mine. So perhaps he does need an update, but let's go at it a little bit further and confirm. Okay, so after that, got done doing this thing. Start new session. Okay. It's already set. Alright, so we have body and chassis. I know we need to go to chassis. ABS anti-lock brakes. Okay, so here's what the deal is. Um, I don't remember exactly what his said, but I remember his screen went all the way down and you couldn't scroll down anymore. But under these, I have miscellaneous function as my number seven. So here's what I have, read codes, erase codes, ECU information, live data, active test, ECU configuration, configure information, and after that, miscellaneous function. So my hypothesis is he might need an update, or one of his other functions that's, that he has has this same stuff in it. But here's the interesting thing. So if we go to miscellaneous function, I don't remember what he clicked on. Other functions maybe on his, but under there, there was bleed breaks. But I also have ABS initialization and initialize the ESP sensor. He did not have those two under his uh, other functions thing. So, let me make sure, though, that the reason his aren't there is because he doesn't have an ABS thing. So, I'm going to actually hook this scan tool up to another vehicle. I'm going to plug it up to the Neon, which does not have ABS. Uh, and we'll see what happens with that. I suspect maybe we're not going to be able to get even into the ABS system with it. Um, it would be nice if we did, though. That way I can confirm that even if there's a problem with your ABS or you don't have one, you still have these options. So let's move over to the Neon real quick. Okay, we're in the Neon now. Let me hit ABS and see what happens here, because this does not have ABS on it. So I want to see if I can even get into that module. It would be nice if I could, just to prove that even if you don't have a thing, an ABS, that that option should still show up, at least on the diagnostic tool. And then we'll know for sure he needs to update, as opposed to... Um, as opposed to having you know, to, to get rid of those other codes or possibly replace his pump or something, which is still uh, a possibility because it does say he does have a pump code, if I recall. Okay, so this is what I get. Unable to automatically identify the vehicle, and that's because this doesn't have an ABS. Um, so I'm going to have to do a little extra stuff here and see if this gives me an option. PL Neon, we'll say that. So let's go to chassis, ABS anti-lock brakes. It's probably not going to connect. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So this won't actually let me even go any further. But his actually connects, so that does tell me something at the very least. Even though he's got all his extra codes, he can still connect to it. He's not getting... The, uh, the proper thing. So let me let me see if there's a way I can maybe unplug the challengers and see if there's a any way to, to work around that just to confirm that he needs to update. 
Okay, so I'm kind of doing guerrilla warfare style recording here because I'm trying to record his video on my cell phone. So this is his screen. Uh, the ECU read codes. Don't you go away on me. Race codes, live data, active test, ECU configuration. I believe that's where mine stops and then I have under that miscellaneous. And he has a system check. I thought I had that also, but maybe I didn't. My memory fails me, I'd have to go back and watch my own bean footage. You know what, hold on a second, let me plug it back into the Challenger and I'll just... We're doing it live, boys, we're doing it live. Okay, so not to confuse anybody here, this is actually my maxi check, and this is... Uh, this is the T-Town Corp, his... My cell phone with a picture of his maxi check on it. Um, so... A couple things are in difference. See, he has ECU information and ECU configuration information, which is kind of weird. Mine goes straight into read codes. We both have erase codes, both have live data, both have active test. Now he has a system check, which I don't have, so he actually technically has more options than me. Um, but I have miscellaneous function, he has special function. I don't actually have system check. And I also don't have ECU information. So my original hypothesis would be one of those things that he has, and I don't, is what it would allow him to see that. But the only thing that makes me not think that is, because if we play the video here, and he gets under special function, See, when I click, click that as he's clicking his, I have ABS, initialization, bleed breaks, initialize ESP. Mine comes up fairly quickly. And his is not. It's still he only has bleed, bleed, breaks. Okay, no, you don't bleed breaks and bleed LX. Breaks. I'm not sure what that's all about. So... I think what he you need to do, T Town, is I think you need to read your codes, see if you can clear the codes, clear all the codes with the exception of that, um, you know the uh, the VIN mismatch one. See if clearing the codes helps. If it does, go back to your uh, your your version of my miscellaneous and then see if that shows up. If not, then I would update it to the current version. I'm not sure which version I actually have, unless I can figure it out somewhere in here, but I'm not sure if it even gives me that. Let me try setup. Um, about, maybe, will tell me what version I have. Uh, so I have firmware version 2.02 .02, system software version 5.06 hardware version v1 manufactured date so mine was made 11 30 of 18 i'm not sure how long that was before that video i filmed i'd have to go back in time and find out but start here then maybe hopefully this helps you um but do let me know get back with me and see if you just needed to update or if you needed to clear the codes and then your uh, version of my miscellaneous allows you to finally initialize the ABS. So this video is for you, my man. Watch it and get back with me once we uh, hopefully figure this out.